Good evening, my beautiful students. How are you tonight? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? How was your good day? Uh, kind of normal, tough. Oh, well, now that you mentioned your job yesterday, right? So I don't know what is normal then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yes. let's see. All right, very good. Very good, very good, 17. Well, let me see how many people I have here participating currently in the class. Trying to check this one right here, thank you. So let's see, let's see, let's see. It's going to be Ingrid, Jose Alejandro, Juan David, Carla, Milagro, Nelson, Norma, Roberto, René, eh, Sandra, Senia, eh, Patty, and Stephanie. Good evening and welcome to that class. Excellent. So, well, everybody, let's start right now and take advantage of the time, right? So, what is going to be the first activity for tonight? Well, you know that. It's exactly like the same way we start every class, practicing. And how are we going to practice right now? Well, you know it, right? This is going to be a tone twister, tone twister, tone twister, tone twister. Okay, very good. Take a look at that tone twister that we have there. It's gonna be easy. All right, let me just read it for you right now. It says, six, sick, hicks, nick, six, slick, bricks with picks and sticks. Easy, right? So you can see this one. So let's practice it one more time. Remember, it has to be like, Six, 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 bricks with picks and sticks. I will do it again, but now I will go slower, right? Six, 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 bricks with picks and sticks. Now let's just go with the, um, you know, faster, 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 right? Six, 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 bricks with picks and sticks. Like that one. Excellent. Oh, my God. There I have Norma. I can see also Rene. Millie is practicing her favorite activity. All right. And also Patricia came on time for the first activity as a volunteer. All right. So let's see. Let's see. All right. All right. That's okay, Juan David, thank you for participating. Carolina said she was going to be a listener, so I understand. All right, so perhaps, what about you, Senia? Are you in or are you just listener? You can text me if you can talk. All right, so there you go. Patricia, Sandra Elizabeth, Roberto. Roberto, are you normally participating or are you in your job? No, I can participate. Okay, very good. Awesome. So, no problem. He says, Lucy's Oh, Senia will be a listener. Sorry, Senia. I didn't see the message before. All right. Um, this one. This one right here. Okay, cool. No problem. I just checked your message. It was in the WhatsApp group. I haven't seen it before. All right. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, all right, all right. So practicing, 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 practicing. There we go, there we go. Let me just drink some water. And once I finish drinking some water, we will go ahead and verify the first volunteer here. Far, far away, Sandra. That sounds like Shrek. You're going too far, far away. Like in Shrek movies. Let's see, let's see. Time's up, time's up, time's up. Oh my goodness, take a look at this one right here. All right, so time for me to enjoy listening to you, my wonderful volunteers, all right? Oh my goodness, a lot of people today. Let's see. Uh -huh. 
Washington. So I'm one is sick. So I'm one is in another country. Oh my God, nice. All right, so send is a listener for a moment. All right, Irma is going to be a listener because she's working. When Debbie is working, um, a lot of people working tonight. So, okay, cool. Okay, have some volunteers. That's actually something that makes me happy. So, first volunteer, Norma, second Roberto, third Rene, and that's how we go at the moment. Norma, go ahead. Tick, 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 break, with tick, and tick. Oh, oh my goodness. I didn't get that. One more time, Norma, please. <laughs> Come on, Norma, please do it one more time. I guess it was a problem with the sound. Norma, Norma. Hello. Hello. Yes. One more time, please. One more time. Okay. Oh, I see. Well, so we have the issues maybe with the microphone and the internet there. No worries. All right. So, Roberto, your turn. Okay. Uh, six, 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 six bricks with picks and sticks. Hey, great job. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Rene, your turn. Okay. Six, 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 with picks and stick. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Rene. Who's my next volunteer? Carolina, I got it. So no worries. All right. Me, so teacher. This one. Who's at me? Norma. Okay, Norma. Yes, six stick hicks, need six bricks with picks and a stick. Okay, excellent. That was so fast. All right, so good, good, good. Thank you. Who's my next volunteer? Me, teacher. Hey, Mirna, hello. Go ahead. Good evening. Hi, go ahead. Okay, six stick six, six, hicks, nick, six. Bricks with picks and sticks. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So thank you for participating on that one. Let's see. And the next one. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh -huh. People who are actually looking through the cameras, pretending I don't see you. Uh -huh. You know who you are? Girls. Just waiting for you voluntarily, said me, teacher, me. Well, you prefer eating than participating, Jesus. Okay, I will have to call you by your names there. So next volunteer, Patty. Ah, let me see. Okay. <laughs> six hits, six less bricks with pieces and six. Oh my goodness, that was easy for you, Patty, and you didn't want to participate, but thank you. All right, so okay. let's see. Uh huh, Millie, your turn. <gasps> Millie's going away. Good evening, sir. I'm sorry, I'm on meal time. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to be eating, okay? That's Give fine. Me that's the... fine. <laughs> okay, um, see. <laughs> Six, 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 six. <laughs> I cannot do it. Come on, you can do it. It's easy. <laughs> okay. Six, 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 break with picks and sticks. There you go, <laughs> excellent. So you see, you were able to do it in as well, all right? Okay, everybody, do I have any other volunteers before we move to the next activity? No volunteers. Oh my goodness, you're very shy. Oh, I had, uh, let's see. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's part of like Hola. the listeners tonight. Well, let me mute you. All right, so good. Awesome. Okay, well, thank you everybody for participating, right? I know this tongue twister, it's not difficult to be honest. It's actually easy, right? So. Uh, but it has a very similar sound, but that's the purpose of it, that you can practice your pronunciation of this specific sound. So 
let's see what's the first activity for tonight. And it's going to be a review, 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 review. Sorry about the quality. I just took it from the book. All right. So and, uh, it's going to be a, an exercise similar to the one we were actually doing last night, the last one. When we were doing like deciding if we had to use past perfect or past simple tense. All right. So let's see this one. For example, in number one, number one, it says right here. Um, one second. It says right here, number one, Tom, blah, 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 me the book yesterday, but I knew he, uh, uh, this one. So what is going to be the first, the first verb here, the first conjugation? Gabe, me. Gabe, very good. So you said Gabe me the here. book yesterday. Gave me the book yesterday, but I knew he hasn't read it. Hasn't read it. Are you sure about hasn't? Oh, sorry. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Got it. Because remember, it's past perfect, right? I hadn't. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Exactly. So it would be like hadn't read it. All right. Mm -hmm. So very I good. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Let's continue with the next one. So we go with number two, Alice. Okay, let's do it. Alice came back from Australia and she said that she enjoyed. Yeah, simple past. Very good job. Excellent. So go this one. There you go. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So then number three. Can someone help me to read number three, please? Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Just for reading, reading, reading. Come on, people. Don't be shy. Rene, go ahead, my friend. Thank you for always being a volunteer. Okay. Uh, when I arrived home, I realized that I hadn't found my grandparents. Mm -hmm. I hadn't found, and I exactly very good. That's past perfect, right? I hadn't found my grandparents. All right. Okay. Very good. Now that you mentioned this. I haven't phoned my grandparents neither. Oh my goodness. All right, so, well, let's see. Let's continue with this one. Number four, the postman. It says the postman, Rene, go ahead. Okay, uh, the postman, uh, uh, hmm. came after I had left the office. You know, have it's okay, but what is it? Left. Left, exactly. Okay, I, I have, have left. left. It's actually what it says right there. So let's see, I have another volunteer. Thank you, Rene. It's Cesar. Hello, Cesar. Uh -huh. Hello. Go with number uh, five, my friend. When the old lady, uh huh. When the old lady returned to her flat. She hadn't seen that ball cars uh, had broken in. Had broken in, all right. Had broken in, all right. Very good, excellent. Had broken in, she saw. She saw, yeah. Very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, you got number five, number six. Caesar again. All right. Hello, Caesar. You just participated. Roberto, go ahead. Uh, number six. Please. The train had left before Helen arrived at the station. All right. So the train had left before the before Helen arrived. Oops, we're missing an R there. Thank you. Thank you. What about number seven? Number seven. Number seven. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> I hello number seven. Oh, Caesar again. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, my grandmother had made me some uh, cheese sandwiches. Uh -huh. 
that made me some sandwiches when I got home. All right, so like this one. Are you sure about this one, my friends? Yes, agree or disagree? Make me. Make me, Make. right? Make me. Yes, exactly, right? So I will just say this one right here, it will be simple past, simple past, all right? So because yes. it says, Cuando yo llegué, los, los hizo. All right, so like that one. No en que ya los había hecho. All right, so that's why I would just keep here made. Nice. Mm -hmm. just, well, uh... Uh -huh. mi, mi, mi abuela hizo al, algunos sándwiches cuando yo llegué a las 5.30. All right, so. Do you know what? ¿Por qué la vamos a cambiar así, así, to pass? Because I have this time specifically. All right, so this one right here. Si hubiera una expresión, por ejemplo, que dijera, by the time I got home, para la hora que yo llegué. I see what I see though, like, you know, she had done it before. So let's okay. see. Let's continue with number it, eight. It could be, it could be also uh, in the first uh, verb, could be has had already made me or something like that. If we had already, for example, as a part of the exercise, yes. All right. Okay. Yeah, that could be another one. Correct. Uh, what about number eight? Number eight says after she, uh huh. Uh, Patty, thank you. Uh, uh, after, after she studied the lesson, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. She had made, uh, she had did, uh, he, he, she has done, had done mm -hmm. the exercises. I'm, would, I'm not sure. Would that, make, had, would that make sense for you? After she studied the lesson. That's fine. She uh, had done the exercise. You know what no? happens right here? Mm -hmm. She did. We have after. So like uh -huh. a sequence. Yes. So? I, I was. Uh -huh. Okay. She, she did the exercises. Yeah, yeah that's correct. All right. So because you're mm -hmm. talking about uh, like simple past, remember one of the rules is that we're going to use simple past to talk about like sequences, right, in the past as well. Okay, okay, very good. So thank you very much. What about the number nine, Barbara? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Josue, go ahead. Okay, uh, Barbara forgot that she hadn't done any shopping for the weekend. All right, very good, excellent, thank you. So will be Barbara forgot that she had not do any share, hadn't done. Hadn't done. Very good, excellent. And we go with the last one, my friends. So that will be Jack. Was, was very tired. Uh -huh. Was, very good, was. Very tired. Because? He worked until late. He Maybe. worked until late. Mm -hmm. Right. In this one, it can be either or. You can use simple past to past, past perfect for this one. You can say like, ya que estaba que trabajó, o ya que estaba que estaba porque había trabajado. Uh, hard work. All right, so yo me quedé aquí con el hard, hard work. Okay. But you can also use simple past. I mean, mm -hmm. it is basically like, like the same here. All right, excellent. Thank you, my friends. Do you have any questions regarding the vocabulary? No questions? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. If you don't have questions, then just go ahead and check the next activity here, all right? Very good. Okay, everybody, we are going to use this vocabulary that we can see here to describe how people sometimes feel when they live in a foreign country, in a country that it's not their country, all right? So, well, let's say we all are Salvadoran here, how would you feel if for any reason you have to move to a different country? Um, you know, because you got married and the, your couple is in a different country because of job, of the job, because of, you know, any reason, right? So how would you feel living in your, a different country? Would you feel happy living in yes. a different country? 
<laughs> and she said yes. All right. Yes. So, would you feel, <laughs> uh, for example, um, worried, depressed sometimes, <laughs> homesick? All right. So, would you will miss pupusa? I, I don't know what 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 homesick means. Homesick means what uh, so homesick means. Uh -huh. No oh, mm -hmm. okay. Right, let's just go ahead and review the vocabulary so you can tell me if it is something positive or negative. All right, so let's go for the first one anxious. What is anxious, my friends? Ansioso. 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 So, do you think it's going to be something positive or negative? Uh, negative. Negative, of negative. course, right? So, it's not good to feel anxious at all. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Then the second one, please repeat it with me. Comfortable. Say it. Comfortable. Comfortable. Very good. Excellent. So comfortable is going to be negative or positive? Positive. Positive. Yay, of course. In what country do you think you could feel positive? I mean, comfortable, right? What a man. <laughs> Which, where? Guatemala. I yeah. know Guatemala is somebody's Guatemala. Guatemala. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, All right, excellent. Would you feel confident or about well, comfortable speaking in English with an American in the United States? Not right. in this moment. <laughs> ah, come on, guys. You're very fluent. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Also, uh, what about confident? Is that positive or negative? It's uh, positive. positive. Right, exactly. So then I can ask you the same question. So do you feel confident speaking English in front of others? Um, no. <laughs> Come on. I feel nervous. <laughs> you feel nervous. You have to actually start um, practicing, right? I will give yes. you a tip later. All right, then we go on the next one. Curious, repeat it, curious. Uh -huh. Curious. Uh -huh. yeah. This one, do you think it's gonna be something positive or negative? I think it's positive. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it can also be negative. I, I would say it's both. What about you? Maybe, yeah. All right, positive and negative. Yeah, because sometimes if you are too curious, that's also negative, right? So mm -hmm. positive and negative. All right, okay. so like that. Uh, what about the last one then? Depressed. Depressed, okay. depressed. So would that be negative or positive? Negative. Negative. Totally negative, of course, right? So, very good. Thank you. Then you go on the next one right here. Uh, the first one on this column here. Embarrassed. 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 So, will that be something positive or negative? Negative. Could be negative and positive. <laughs> Why will that be positive? <laughs> if you feel embarrassed. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Just because you like it's the if the mm, well embarrassed, it will be kind of the opposite of confident, right? Mm -hmm. So, like for example, you feel ashamed, right, when you make a mistake or you say something that you shouldn't, all right? So mm -hmm. you feel embarrassed. So I will say that it's not a positive feeling. Remember, it's not about being pregnant, right? So please don't confuse that word. No, no. I... <laughs> all right, no. awesome. So then, it's negative. All right, but I'm curious. What would you say is positive? I, I don't know. I, I think sometimes uh, people could say something that is uh, not correct mm -hmm. and to feel embarrassed is like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I understand. Well, that's a question uh -huh. that I might think about it. Enthusiastic, yeah. all right? So what about enthusiastic? Remember, it's not enthusiastic. enthusiastic. Uh -uh. It's enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, th enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Right. So, uh, is it positive, positive or negative? It's positive. Positive, yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a little bit negative, right? So, or not? It's it's not. Yes, it's positive. Ah, okay, very good. Just checking. All right, so enthusiastic. <laughs> so to be positive, right? Like, oh my God, yes. you guys, when you had to participate, so enthusiastic me, teacher, volunteer. All right, so mm -hmm. let's see here. What about the next one right here? Um, let's just go on this one. Excited, everybody, excited. Repeat it. 
Excited. And there you go. Excellent. Excited. So what is excited? Uh, emocionado. Yeah, but well, you're extremely happy and like about something. Mm -hmm. Well, to be anxious in a positive way, let's say. All right. Yes. So about something that is going to happen. Normally, when, you know, something that it, you have been waiting for is going to happen, like a concert, a show, good news, etc. Right. Then you yes. go on the next one. That's going to be positive. We said, right. Oops. There you go. Fascinated. Pretty fascinated. 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 No, fascinated. Yes, fascinated. Fascinated. Is it positive? Yes. Yes, for me it's positive. Of course, it has to be positive because <laughs> you are happy about something, right? Yes. Then really. homesick. Oh, remember what is homesick? Yes, I remember. <laughs> All right. When you miss your country, negative. you miss your neighborhood, so it's like negative. Yes, uh, the food of your country. Most, <laughs> most likely the food, for right? So no, that's person, people. Or, or your environment. Could be, baby. All right. So, because imagine to be in Europe, like Italy, uh -huh. Spain, France, and then you feel homesick because you want to eat some pupusas. All right. Yeah. So, but, but there, are, there are pupusas in in that places. <laughs> All right. Maybe in Italy. Yes, in Spain and in, in Italy, Italy too. Italy, yeah, because we have a bunch of Salvadorian people living there. Yes. Right? Yes. All right. Yes. So then, yes. oh my God, they can look to the next one. Insecure, right? Will that be something good or positive? It's negative. It's negative because it's just yes, something negative. similar to, um, you know, uncomfortable, uh -huh. right? So something mm -hmm. similar to that one, all right? So negative. Very good. Nervous. Uh -huh. Nervous. Do you think that's positive or negative? Remember when I said, okay, fulanito, fulanita, volunteer, you feel nervous? Do you think that's actually something positive or negative? For me, are both. Negative, negative all right. It's, for me, it's positive and negative too. I agree with you. Sometimes feeling nervous is because you're still getting excited about something. Yes, all yes. Right? So it could be... You're going to be, you're going to see somebody in, special for you. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you're nervous, right? But we're going to leave it as negative because we're talking in the context of living in a different country, right? Mm -hmm. so, oh, yes. But, but yeah, in that case, it will be something negative because like you're nervous about going out, for example, in that city or that new country, right? Or getting lost on those places. That's actually something that can happen. Uh, mm -hmm. Uncertain, all right? Uncertain, all right? So what's it negative or positive, my friends? Negative. Negative, negative. Yes, of course. Think that's that's horrible. That's a horrible feeling. A horrible, horrible feeling. All right. So because you don't know what is going to happen. That's actually the situation here. Incierto, of course. Thank you for the translation. All right. So you don't know what is going to happen. So you need to actually know and try to make sure, right, that you actually know what is going to happen. Then uncomfortable that's the opposite of comfortable right so if comfortable is positive so uncomfortable is going to be okay. negative, negative of course all right yeah. jesus all right and then worried 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 all right so how to say this one negative or positive uh, negative negative all right excellent so well <laughs> Uh, I guess everybody in this group lives in El Salvador do we have someone from a different country no, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's just focus on this question right here, which is going to be the second question here. And it says, like, how, a, like this one. Would you like to live in a foreign country? All right, so would you like to live in a different country, my friends? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, I would. All right, yes. excellent. So where would you like to live? In Spain. In Spain? Why would you like to live in Spain? You mentioned Guatemala before. All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Guatemala is comfortable for me because uh, it's, uh, they are they have the same tradition that, uh, than us. Oh, uh, yeah. But I would like to live in Spain because two of my children live there. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay. Very good. So that, you know, there is definitely a reason why you should be, yes. um, you know, leaving. I mean, you should be there next yeah. to them, right? Close to them. All right. So, and let's just go ahead and say something else. All right, everybody. What other countries would you like to, um, let's see, for example, a different country you would like to live in? Uh, Norma, Rene, uh, Robert. Huh? Where would you like to go? Mm -hmm. Nobody. Nobody. No, because that's because... this class is going to be between you and I, Patricia, tonight. <laughs> yes. Because, because we all want to live in El Salvador, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> come on. All right, so... <laughs> I no, like maybe one country could be could be Mexico. Oh uh, yeah, couldn't agree more with you than Mexico. All right, so why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Uh, because uh, it has so many places, uh, different places, different. Uh, what do you say? I have forgotten. Uh, arenas. Um. The, Rains or um, archaeological right. sites, if you want to call Ar it. Archaeological sites and so yeah. much history, um, natural uh, beauties mm -hmm. like lakes, mountains, uh, the beach. Right, yeah. that's true. That's true. Mexico, it's a wonderful country, right? So I have been yeah. there three times, and of course, I will be there. A fourth time, a fifth time, and all the times I can. All right. So, because it's a wonderful country. And don't even talk about the food, right? So, let's yeah. see. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you, everybody, for helping me with this one. Hey, questions about the vocabulary here? Something that it was not clear for you? Maybe one of the words that you didn't understand? Yes. No. No? All clear? <laughs> can I continue? Well, you can. You. Okay, thank you. You can continue. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. So, uh, well, take a look at this one. This is like some things that people say when they are like, um, you know, in different countries, right? So let's see. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight volunteers. Maybe I can get eight volunteers. So the first one for sure is going to be you, Patty. All right, so... For reading, for reading, all right? Then I will need more volunteers to continue reading the rest of the expressions here. So go ahead with okay. the first one, Patty. Uh, one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. Okay, excellent. So would you agree with that one? When you move to a different country, would you miss your mom's cooking? Um, actually, my mom is uh, passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. To well, hear. Yeah, sometimes. So, so... <laughs> I miss her, oh. her cooking, but. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear yeah. that. All right. So, but yeah. Uh, no so problem. Everybody misses yeah, no problem. mom, right? So they have a special way to cook our favorite food, huh? All right. So. Yes, yes. Thank you for sharing that. All right. Number two. Who's my volunteer for number two? Roberto. All right, Roberto. Please read. Okay. Uh, I'll be uncertain about the local food. I may not like it. No, no, I like it. In thank you, Roberto. In what country, Roberto, do you think you can feel in that way? Mm, About the food. See, maybe in some Arabic or Asia country that it uh -huh. things that are an Asian where, country where things. Yes, an Asian or a, a no Arabic country. Arabic country that eat. Uh, that it's weird things for us. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's like totally different, right? So couldn't agree with uh, you, all right? Couldn't agree more with you. All right, thank you. Now, let's see who is going to be the next volunteer. Yes, yes, yes. I need more volunteers. Me, teacher. Say, Cesar, thank you very much, all right? Okay, 
getting used to different customs might be difficult at first. All right, different customs might be difficult at first. All right, so would you agree with that, Cesar? Yes or no? Yes, for example, it, it comes to me if I move to Japan, for example. Ah, yes, that sometimes, you, you know, the way people wave other people, right? So they have to like bend and down, et cetera, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That might be difficult sometimes. You have to get used to it, of course. Thank you. Volunteer for the next one. Thank you, Rene. Go ahead. Number four. Uh, my room at home is the thing that I miss the most. I be homesick. I be homesick. All right. Do you think you're going to miss your room or you're going to get used to the new room quickly? Oh. <laughs> it is it, it's, it's clear that the, you have in another country you uh, miss your home because are you homesick but another place? Right, so better, right? Let's say this okay. one, thank you. Next one. Yes, teacher, me. Hey, Norma, tell me. Hi, and listen. Uh, no, yes. this one, this one, Bye. this one, this one, this one, yes. communicating. Hey, Katie, in a new language, is saying it be anxious about. Ah, it's what I was. Thank you. It, how would you feel? What I was telling like Patty before, but now let me ask you, Norma. How would you would, mm. would you feel comfortable or would you feel anxious about speaking English with native speakers? Yes. Right. So it's true, right? So you feel like I'm gonna make a mistake. If you're going to notice that I make a mistake, and you know. Uh. There are things that I don't understand. Exactly. It happens sometimes, right? Especially because you have to get um, used to different kind of accents, right? Like Afro-American accents, right? People from Texas, etc. right? So they all have different accents and we need to get used to it. All right, thank you. Who's the next one? Mm -hmm. Next one, next one. Come on, people. Uh huh. Oh, oh, Patricia Garcia. Hello. <laughs> I was about to call you. All right. So, go ahead. <laughs> okay. And let me see. Okay. Moving to a country with a very different climate <clears throat> could be a challenge. Yeah. Imagine. So, we live in El Salvador, which is so hot. And then you go to places like Canada or Alaska when it's very cold. Would you feel comfortable with that? Russia. 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 <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's true. All right. Uh, oh, that's the next one. It's very interesting. Who can give me a hand? Thank you, Patricia, with that one. Who's going to give me a hand okay. with the next one? Hmm? Well, I, you know. I have said volunteers to be repeated here, no problem. All right, so. Mm. Thank you, Roberto. Okay, go ahead. I, I, I would be worried about getting sick and not knowing how to find a good doctor. Do you think that could be a problem for you when you go to a different country and you feel sick? So you, will you be able to request a doctor? Mm. Yes, I think I think yes because some countries have a lot of rules different than, than us with the the medicine. In other countries, you cannot find medicine so easy like in this country, and it depends on the language too of the in in the country uh, I will be. All right, very good, excellent, thank you. Yeah, that's true, that's true. It might be something different right here. And the last one, come on, someone help me with the last one, my friends, please. Uh, Yay. Come on, just one person, please. 
Let's see who's going to be that one. Uh -huh. Good, my friends. Thank you, Renee. Thank you for saving us. Uh -huh. uh, something I've been nervous about is making new friends, especially in a foreign language. Mm, exactly, right? Thank you. Would you feel comfortable, Renee, talking to new people in, in English, for example? I, I, I a lot in, insecure when I speak English, especially when I'm a native. Native, native, native. native. Yeah. All right. Yeah, like this. Have you ever tried to speak with a native speaker? Uh, sometimes, but I... Uh, I don't understand almost nothing. <laughs> All right, so yeah, sometimes it happens, but you need to practice this one. I will give you a tip later. All right, so good, excellent. So, okay, everybody, we have been talking about this. And uh, now it's time for you to speak in English. All right, so, but I'm not sure how is it going to work tonight because I didn't expect to have too many listeners. But let's see. <laughs> All right, so I have like some questions here that we can discuss, all right? So like this one's right? So we have like this one. Number one, it says, have you traveled abroad? Where have you been? If you have an overseas, which country would you like to go, right? Um, if you had had the opportunity to travel to a different country, please tell us about it. Where did you go? What did you do? What did you eat, etc.? Or if you haven't yet, so uh, please tell me. Uh, where would you like to go, All right? So uh, number two, it says, where do you go on your last trip? So let's talk about your last vacation, for example. It can be inside the country, of course, all right? So uh, it could be inside the country or it could be, for example, to a different country. That wouldn't be a problem at all, right? Uh, what about number two? Number three, I'm sorry. Can somebody help me with number three? Yes? What is what is the best place for education in your country? Why uh -huh. is it good? Okay, Patty, now that you're talking about that one, all right? So if you had to, to um, you know, recommend that to, an, to um, a foreigner, right? So mm -hmm. which, which place in is this country would you recommend? Well, I think maybe it's not the best place, but I, I love mountains. So I would like to recommend uh, to somebody or to someone um, La Ruta de las Flores. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, uh, it is really beautiful. Uh, there are a lot of, of countries that you can visit there and try different kinds of food and, and you can go, um, I don't know how to say um, por las montañas. Through the mountains. Caminar. Oh, hiking. Like climb, but it's not hiking. Uh, hiking. Hike, or hiking, but it's not hiking. It's como caminar, no sé, como, se, como take a walk in the mountains. If you want to say like that, no, no. specifically like that, it's okay. Just take a walk. But if you're talking about like senderismo, that's hiking. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. I, I thought hiking was like subir, but in it is there there are uh, there is uh, is there uh, another other uh, word to say uh, subir montañas? If you want to talk about like excla like uh, escalar, that's uh, a yeah. climb, uh -huh. right? Climb. Uh -huh. But el, that's like going in a, is on a vertical. Climb. Uh, position, right? Uh -huh, yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hiking is like take a walk in the mountains in Senderi. Exactly. Okay, thank you. So, okay. so you, so you can hike in, in the mountains, and I, I, I love it. I love that. I love this the this um place. Uh, no sé ruta because there are like seven different countries, right? Like countries no, or cities? Co how do you say? What well, no? Pueblos. Towns. ¿Cómo dices? Towns. Ah, oh, little towns. Yeah. There are like seven different little towns and they're all, all of them are beautiful. 
Right, that's true. That's true. What's your which is your favorite one? Which which is your I, favorite? I prefer attack. Okay. I, I prefer attack. All right, and awesome. The other are beautiful too. Okay, very good. Thank mm -hmm. you. So you see, guys, so Patty and I have uh, an example of what you have to do, right? So you can talk about that, etc. Right. So we are going to be working on the breakup rooms right now, my friends. I don't know how many ones I'm going to have because, like, you know, mm -hmm. too many uh, listeners tonight. So let's see. Um, okay, very good. I'm opening this one for you right now. One quick second, my friends. Okay. There you go. Excellent. So. I'm going to open the rooms, right? If for some reason you cannot participate or talk or anything, let me know so I can move you, right? So no problem. Please join the room. You will have like basically 10 minutes to practice these questions and then we will go back to the main class, all right? Do we have these questions in, in the WhatsApp group? I'm sending that right now. No worries. Okay, okay thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to stop the sharing so you can go this one. I'm sending this to the WhatsApp group right now. Teacher. Oh, uh, Benny, hello. You're in. Hi. Yeah. Did you, I, did you receive? I'm, I'm on my phone. Ah, okay. So you won't participate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I just want to ask you if you can send me the invitation again to the breakup room because you lost it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, that's fine. So let's see. Oh wait, let me just make some movements because I have some people that are alone right now. One second. Okay. Uh, okay. Not really sure if they are gonna be able to participate. Okay, Mary, go ahead. Can you share the screen or do you want me to do it? Patricia, okay, I'm going to try to do it. Let me let me look for it. for the picture. Inside. That's the one. Can you see it? Patricia? Can you see my screen? You there? Yes. Are you sick, Patricia? Yes. Oh my yes. good. <laughs> yes, I can see. Ah, okay. You want to start? Yes, I already. Okay. Nice. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> Let's try to speak because Mr. JJ is there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's> it. <laughs> practice, practice. I have a lot of nerves. <laughs> you you have to yeah, say I'm anxious. <laughs> Lately, I have been thinking about something, you know. I feel that I speak better when I talk with myself in English. 
That's, that's common. Oh. It's actually very common. Really? Yeah. That's how you... You hear the same words? Uh, well, sometimes you need to uh, practice with someone. And you don't have anybody mm -hmm. else sometimes mm -hmm. but yourself. So you start elaborating your dialogues and conversations in your head, right? <laughs> and of course, you sound super nice on that. So, but then mm -hmm. the problem is when you have to speak with other people, is when you like get stuck because you're nervous. But yeah, it's yeah. normal to feel you, you speak better when you're speaking alone. Yes, you're right. Um, I'm not crazy. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> not. No worries. <laughs> I used to talk with myself since I was a, a little girl, you know? <laughs> and now that I am trying to speak in English, I try to do it every night with myself <laughs> in my room. <laughs> yeah, it helps you to improve your fluency. What are the benefits of the benefits? What do you have? Yeah, excuse me. Hello. Hello. How are your tablets abroad? Mm. No, I haven't. I never, uh, I never been abroad. But honestly, if I go to another country, it could be just, just for study. Something about uh, something related to my job. Oh. Uh huh. I I. The question number one: Have you traveled abroad? Where have you been? If you haven't been overseas, which country would you most like to visit? Uh, it's in the group that has sent the image. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now I see it. Oh my God, you're not. Uh, over how you been it's you having the universe on to world. You know, me está preguntando. Si sí, ha viajado al extranjero a través del mar o a qué país te gustaría visitar más? Me gustaría visitar más. Ah, okay. Ah, no, no. Only El Salvador. <laughs> no then, travel. Then, which country would you like to visit? Um, and visit um, I like Mexico. Okay. Oh. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. In Cancun, like, it's very pretty. Mm, yes. The, the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go for the question number two. Where did you go on your last trip? Talk about where you went and what you did. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Let me think. In, in my case, I visit uh, Sur City, El Tunco Beach, and I mm. only for a lunch and a, a sweet, a little, and right to my home. One day, nothing more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, teacher, I, yes. I have a question. Tell me. When we say a trip, it's when we go to uh, places like a beach or a park or I would, things like that. Yeah, that could be a trip, something, you know, a trip, it's a general word, let's say, to talk, to call all those mm -hmm. type of things or events, all right? So a journey, it's something that it's like, like to 
afford their place, you know? Now, normally, mm -hmm. you have to take, um, you know, a plane or train or anything like that to move to a different place. Uh, but a trip, it could be a general word to refer to, to those long trips as well, or like to a local trip, let's say, for example. Yeah, because like I was thinking, I don't think go to a restaurant equals say that it's a trip. Well, actually, like if, you, if you if you have your cell phone in English and you, for example, request uh, Uber, right? So it's gonna it's gonna say trip. Oh. Know? How was your trip? They say. Oh. Okay. Because as I said before, it's just like the general word for that one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, my last trip, one that I remember, I was in Zacatecoluca. I don't remember exactly, but I went to a little, a little river, mm -hmm. and there were so many fish, little fish. Oh, and cool. when I was there with my family, we saw, uh, how do you say? A lot of cows, like when you say bandada with the words, but cows is like, how do you say that? When you say a lot of cows, I'm not <laughs> sure if the word in Spanish could be a manada. I don't think so. How do you say it? Are you asking for? Uh, like a plural word for uh, a lot of cows. I guess it would be a herd of cows, you know? Herd, H E D. Oh. Let, me, let me type it here. Herd. You see it? Um, yeah. Herd. Herd, 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 herd. Herd. Okay. And we see, we saw herd. All right, guys. Sorry for interrupting. We will have to go back to the breakout rooms right now. All right. I mean, to the, to oh. the main station. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody, to the main session. So we are going to uh, conclude tonight's class in a moment. All right. So I just want some volunteers to share some of the answers you have been practicing here, okay? So who is gonna be one of those volunteers? Huh? Can you tell me? Oh, Roberto, okay, Roberto. Hello, Roberto. Hi. Okay, Roberto, let's just talk about this one, all right? Um, in your opinion, what is more important when you travel, a comfort, and relaxation or a stimulating new experience? Mm, let me see. I think for me, it could be a stimulating new experiences. Okay, why? Wow. Because for me, because for me, traveling to another country is to know uh, the country, to know the culture, have a new experience uh, with, with the country. I think for me. Okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. So let's see this one. Let's see. Um, Danny, down there. You're here. Are you here, Danny? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let me ask you another question here. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. Have you Have you ever been to a different country before? No, I have. I haven't been to right. another country. Where would you like to travel then? Yeah, I would love to travel. Where? Well, I was talking with, with my partner in the break of rooms that I would like to travel to Italy. Oh, to Italy. What would you like to go to Italy? You know, if we have many countries, why would you choose that one? Well, I kind of love the Mediterranean Sea. I think it's pretty pretty nice the beach and also the little the little towns like um have you seen Luca the movie uh, yeah yeah so the one the town where 
the movie was going is exactly the same town where they made it. So I would like to visit that kind of town if I were if I were in Italy. It looks pretty calm, pretty sunny. Yeah, it, it, it looks like a beautiful place, right? Yeah. Thank you. All right, let me ask you this one. So who is going to be my last volunteer for tonight? Thank you, Mary, and thank you, Josue, for helping me with those two questions. Tell me who's the last, the last volunteer so we can finish. Uh, let me see. Oh, Milagro is here? No, Cesar, raise the hand. So we're going to go with you. Okay, Cesar. okay. Right, thank you. All right, Cesar, now tell me, um, in your opinion, how long should a vacation be? So the microphone, Cesar? I was talking with the person that I was in the breaking room that uh -huh. it depends of, of the place because, for example, if you are in a really big country, maybe you want to visit uh, many places that uh -huh. are in a far distance. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, I don't know, uh, an average could be from a week to one or two weeks, maybe. One or two weeks, right? Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for uh, sharing all your points of view regarding that. All right. So, um, you know, I really like those uh, activities when you have the opportunity to speak English with your classmates, right? So, and I understand that sometimes you guys have things to do and that's why you are making the effort at least to be as a listeners. But I would really love to see if you can actually be um, participating more in the activities because I would like to bring more speaking activities to you, right? Because you're going to advance and I would like you to go ready for the advanced level, all right? So, well, anyway, we're going to be uh, mm -hmm. stopping in the class right here. I'll thank you very much for joining and remember that tomorrow mm -hmm. we have classes, okay? Yes, tomorrow yes, we have teacher. classes. Remember, we are only missing three classes. Tomorrow's class, Monday, and Tuesday. Tuesday is okay. going to be our last class of the year. All right? Yes, yes. Excellent. So, well, I will see you tomorrow, my friends. Have a wonderful night. Take care. Nice night for you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, Roberto. Bye-bye. Thank you.